Hi everybody, it's Monday, February the 11th. I'm coming in with a update. Sorry, I've been away for a minute. Um, to get to the numbers, my highest weight was 355 pounds. Um, that was probably tracked, or I know it was tracked, end of 2011. Started my journey um, January 19th of 2012, and my weight at that doctor's appointment was 344 pounds. Um, as of just a few minutes ago, or actually as of an hour ago, um, my weight was 239. I jumped on the scale at the gym, which is where I'm just coming from. Um, jumped on with shoes, clothes, you know, the whole shebang, just to see out of curiosity. So, Factoring in all of that stuff, you know, you can blur the lines. Bottom line is, last time I reported to you guys, I was 237, so just up slightly, or I haven't moved at all. Um, I've been gone because I've been um, victim to the cold and flu season. I had a bad case of something. I don't know that it quite turned into the flu, but it was a pretty wicked cold. Um, it's going through my whole office. We've had a few people have to go to the hospital. Um, people out for three days on up to a couple of weeks. So whatever it is, pretty bad. Hope everybody's doing well and managing this season. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Um, in addition to dealing with this flu and cold season, um, I went to see my neurologist last week of January. I participate in a M multiple sclerosis research project, um, taking a medication that's being studied for oral um, dosaging. I'm not sure that doesn't sound right, but it's an oral medication for multiple sclerosis. Um, my blood work that they do every time I come um, came back abnormal or with some issues. So I've kind of been dealing with that. Um, also explains why it took me a little bit to recover from this cold and flu thing that I had. Um, what my blood work is showing is that my white blood cell count is low or continues to be um, trending low. Uh, for the last year, my primary care physician has been uh, tracking that and has been concerned and fussing at me to make sure that I'm talking to the MS folks. But at the end of the day, I'm realizing that they're just about um, their research, you know, and I'm a guinea pig. So it's really frustrating right now. Um, what's going on is the white blood cell counts are, are low, not dreadfully low that they need to be concerned, but um, low enough that it's causing me to have to go through some other exams. In addition to my liver enzymes were elevated three times, I think she said the normal rate, um, kind of the equivalent to someone who drinks alcohol or um, abuses like Tylenol or has been taking Tylenol for a long time. Neither of those are the case. I haven't drank um, in over 10 years because I have an alcohol sensitivity due to my multiple sclerosis. So I cut that out years ago um, just because it wasn't worth the punishment that went to my, um, my body from drinking. So um, as it stands, the hematologist that I saw has ordered some additional tests. So on Wednesday, I'm going to have a bone marrow biopsy, which isn't fun, just like it sounds. Um, and then a CT of the ab abdomen, abdominal area, <laughs> sorry, um, just to see if there's anything going on with the liver um, that could indicate something else. Both my primary care physician as well as my uh, hematologist believe that it is the medication. Um, they've tested for everything that could possibly be a disease that could be doing this. So lupus, hepatitis, um, uh, HIV, all of those came back negative. Um, the other levels in my um, blood work are not showing issues that would be indicative that um, there's disease or something like cancer going on. So at the end of the day, they are putting me through these uh, other tests just to rule out that it's not me and to point a specific finger towards the medication. Um, the hope is that once I stop the medication, which I haven't quite gotten the go ahead to do, um, 
that my system will recorrect itself. And then also this could be associated with the fainting spell that I had um, in September. So a few things going on. Um, I also got did a neurodiagnostic, which they put these glasses over my eyes and kind of um, flash lights and stuff. And then they put some cold and hot air in my ear. Really, they were trying to test my inner ear because I was having vertigo issues. Um, to see if my the crystals we all have crystals inside our ears that kind of keep us balanced to see if they were off that came back fine but they got some static or something not sure what it means it's all very technical um, so I have to go see a neurologist um, to figure out if there's anything going on neurological in that ex aspect but again still it's like no one seems to be really too concerned so don't know. I have an MRI in April. My MRIs have come back um, perfectly fine, showing no um, growth or <clears throat> issue with the multiple sclerosis in terms of lesions on my uh, C-spine or um, uh, the lower part of my brain. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm really nervous and freaked out about the uh, bone marrow biopsy. Um, it's a needle that goes straight into the bone so they can suck out some of the bone marrow to actually look to see um, how my body is producing um, white blood cells. So it is what it is. Um, since all of this stuff has been going on, I've um, had to put my Jamie Easton Live Fit program on hold, which is very disappointing because I was really, really enjoying it. Um, but I just haven't had the energy because um, you know, when your white blood cells are low, you become uh, lethargic and it takes you a little bit longer to recover from colds and what have you. So I'm just feeling the energy um, back to somewhat normal, which is why I went to the gym, had a great workout today, just did cardio, 40 minutes on the treadmill, burned 607 calories, I think, um, over 600, which was my goal. So that was good. Um, really, really love the program. I would recommend it. So I'll put a link down below so people can go check her out. Check out Jamie's um, program. I also recommend checking her out on Facebook as well. She sends, you know, really encouraging messages to her fans or people who follow her as, as well as tips and recommends that you check out um, other athletes in the uh, bodybuilding world to get tips and tricks and things from them. Um, one of the things that I, I really wanted to focus on and I've been saying I want to focus on is recommitting to my fitness pal. I've gotten really lazy um, and caught up in this eyeballing. You know, oh, I'll, I, I think that's about a couple ounces or that's a good choice because I know what's in it, you know, protein or calories or it's low sodium, sugar free, whatever. Yeah, it, that's really dangerous. And I knew this um, many months ago that I was eating as if. A, I've never been obese, and B, that I've met goal and I don't have to work as hard. I, it's, I almost say it's like the equivalent of, of an alcoholic who's in recovery. I, I feel like that's my experience. Um, I've never had any extreme food issues, but um, I know I have an issue, period, with food, and I need to be conscious. And um, I did a little, uh, well, I said today I was going to start, so I logged in all of my um, calories for the day, and I just couldn't believe, like, my breakfast was a, sh a protein shake, um, lunch was uh, some sautéed cabbage and chicken, um, so both really good choices, but it was the other supplemental snacks that really kind of threw everything off. Um, and if you follow me on my fitness pal, you'll be able to see exactly what it was that I ate. Um, and I was hungry, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I know I need to uh, drink more water. Um, definitely working out helps because um, it kind of tapers my appetite a little bit or doesn't make it seem so crazy. It's weird because, you know, sometimes working out can make you feel like you're going into starvation mode. So I just know I need to have a balance and get recommitted. Um, so one of my new goals that I really want to work on is I was watching a video um, by Bandit Wendy uh, last week where she talked about um, her eating choices and how uh, she does um, one gram of protein, 
for every 10 calories that she eats. And she has maintained this, and she's posted on Facebook a couple of meals that really reflect this. And I just think that is, it's so awesome to see her have a meal that's 310 calories, but then she's getting in at least 30 to 31 grams of protein, which is fantastic. So that's going to be one of my goals. Um, the other goal that I have, um, hold on, I need to stop.